Hey, this is Dave from Dash Off Road, and you may have seen my last few videos on the Tank 300, a bit of a review and what it does off-road. Uh, this video is to have a look at what we broke when we're off-road. So, um, whether you followed me on YouTube journey or not, but um, we've got a workshop here in Adelaide. Generally, we're known for making things like this, to be honest, patrols uh, that are all pimped out, but um, we're starting to get into the Tank 300s as well. So I'm going to put it up on the hoist, see uh, what damage was caused by all that full driving because we were very low for that trip. Plus we're going to get um, Steve to come and have a look at it too and get like a qualified mechanic, senior mechanic's opinion on the tank mechanically, what's vulnerable and what we need to probably have a look at. Right, for those that don't know, this is Steve. Stay, say hi Steve. There you go, fellas. <laughs> Let's have a look under this car and um, look at the things that um, I may have broke or busted or what we really need to consider in the future when we're going to modify this vehicle. Let's have a look. Where do you reckon, what do you reckon you damaged first? Uh, we, I think let's have a look at this uh, fuel tank. All right. Uh, yep, it's yeah, damaged. <laughs> Jeez, you're lucky you didn't poke a hole through the tank. It got close, didn't it? Yeah. Um, I reckon I heard that one. I swear that bash plate was black before. Yeah, so they sprayed all this like Andy Rust crap all over it. But you sure wiped that <laughs> off pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, the sand. I think the sand test fixed that one. You know what? Actually, looking at this, like, have a look at the size of the chassis for the for the size of the car. Like, it's almost the size of like a patrol. Yeah. Actually, oh, look at that. That's that's massive. Yeah, so it's gonna have some good strength there by the looks of it. And look at the diff as well, that's huge. Yeah, it's not that big, eh? <laughs> I'm a bit worried about these shocks, at, like the eyeballs down here, that's like asking to be smashed. Yeah, well that's your uh, solid axle. I mean, you're gonna have damage, but I'm sure there'll be something that we can do to protect that. We can make up something aftermarket that's like a little guard or something. Sway bars, yeah, probably get rid of them. Yeah, it's them. It's actually quite solid, I don't know, you know, if you did lean on a rock on these, they look sturdy, but time will tell. Yeah. But you didn't damage them on the last one, so that's pretty good. And I dragged the diff, I dragged this car through most of what we did at Love Day. What about the front, David? Let's have a look. Oh, you've taken half a Love Day with you. <laughs> I tried to clean it, sorry. There's a little turbo up there. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'll tell, you, the... tell you what, that's... They look quite strong. I thought the first aftermarket part we'd need was bash plates, but... That one there's a bit flimsy, but geez, that one there. The front one, well, it's worked, put it that way. Yeah, yeah. And it's got an extra bit of mud insulation between that and the sump. Oh, look at the transom. Oh, plastic magic. Well, it needs another one here. Yeah. Actually, that one's pretty sturdy too, so that's good. But the train sits very high. Unless you landed on a big boulder right here, yeah. I think you're gonna be quite safe. Is that plastic? It's plastic. <laughs> yeah, right. Plastic magic. Big trans. I think this, I'm just trying to work out what this big lug here is for. I reckon that's when they put the hybrid um, motor maybe on the back of the trans and fit it in there somewhere. No, uh, that, that there is your um, uh, fuel filter protection, that's what that is. It's <laughs> <laughs> very protective. I'll tell you what. It's a big lump of metal there. It's be good to jack off of. Um, yeah. What about the tail shaft? Oh, it's got a donut on it. Yeah, that's a handbrake, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, that, that just proves how good Davo is. Handbrake, you reckon? Yeah. I reckon that's a That actually break. stops the dirt from going in your uni joint, mate. Come on. Like, Oh, you reckon? No, it's it's a balancer. All right, okay. You're all the mechanic. <laughs> I reckon we can gain another ten kilowatts if we take that. <laughs> it's pretty big, pretty massive, eh? Actually, everything's very well protected. Transco sits up fairly high. Solid beams that go across. You know what? I was around the days of the early Great Walls that came out, and I never rated them. And when I heard you were buying this thing, I cringed. I really did. <laughs> But I'm actually impressed. Everyone did. I'm actually very impressed. I was happy how it went off-road. We'll see how it is long-term, but after watching what it was doing on the weekend, 
What about the front end, the IFS and everything up here? I think we need to get rid of this um, couple of boats under here and put a decent oh, exhaust hey, on Look it. how many um, exhaust things, and they're all like um, flanged before each one. It's like they're, yeah. they're saying, if you want, you can just drop this out and straight pop it. <laughs> I wonder what it's going to sound like with that turbo. Oh. Uh, I've got some ideas. That'll be rather different. There. What's these dry shafts like? I'll tell you what. Look at the thickness of these little things. That's almost like patrol ones. Hey, your dry shaft's thicker than your shock. <laughs> your strut, that, that's gonna break. That looks like a weak point. Yeah, that's gonna bend for sure. Um, very flat angles. Well, that's because it's standard. I oh, know, but we'll fix that too. <laughs> There's another sway bar we can get rid of. Oh, this thing's gonna have some good flex. Like extensions and all that sort of thing. Oh, well, found a first problem. Yeah. Is that electronic power steering? Oh, it's right there. Oh, that's... Okay, time for some real bash plates. Because that's, that's expensive. That needs to come out there, doesn't it? No, no, that needs to be protected. Like, electronic power steer. If that bucket up, you're getting towed home. All right, gotcha. Yeah, that's... It is very vulnerable there. Oh, yeah. Well, you've taken half of Love Day on it already. I wonder if I'm we can... Actually... That, that there is the only downfall, you know, like... This thing is actually really cool. Lower control arms, fairly solid. It's even got a big old to get rid of all your love day dirt. <laughs> That's good. It does look like, yeah, like it's not a weak point on the lower control arms at all. We've seen that in other cars. Well, I think you've done it again, mate. You've gone and just bought a car after driving it once and go, yeah, that sounds good, between locked. So we know, oh, it's a, we know it's a good car, um, yeah. standard. Now let's go ruin it by putting a whole heap of mods on it. Um, How about the fan? That's monstrous for the size car. <laughs> it is, isn't it? No Make wonder it you had, when you turn that override on, you had sand flying out from underneath the car. Yeah. It's now a, I know why. Big fan. Wouldn't mind playing around with a bigger intercooler, snorkel. I'd love to get a stainless snorkel, to be honest. I think it's over. All the snorkels that I've seen in these cars have been plastic. And, oh, that's cool and all, but... Um, having a turbo, imagine that what the sound of a Stano would be. Well, I'm impressed, mate. All right, we've got the tick from Steve. I am giving it the tick. Um, so what I'm going to do if I get some time this week is um, I want to change tyres and rims. The big question is what offset. I believe they're plus 40 from standard. Um, I'm, I, my first idea was to put a plus 12 offset to get it to hang out a bit more. However, look at the guard. If we get flex, like upward travel, it's gonna rip the guard off. So I might do some tests today with the forklift, see how it tucks with stock, and then go put some rims and tires that I've got laying around here and um, uh, see how it tucks with different offsets. I think we might have to get some uh, rock sliders too, mate. Oh yeah. These, I was surprised how they've bent and then bent back. I'm very happy with the way they flex right out of proportion and then they went boom, straight back, flat, brand new. But, <laughs> You're not going to be able to do that every oh, time. If it's anything like the patrols, you get three good hits and it's all over. <laughs> um, yeah, I reckon we'll work on some sliders as well. All right, time to go play with rims, tyres and forklift. Hang on a minute, where's your orange vest? There. <laughs> Takes it. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to see your ticket too. All right, let's see how this uh, tucks. That's what we're mainly interested in here. I might come around the back here. All right, that's the, that's a fancy forklift. All right, I'm watching. Do I go in a little bit further, boss? You are right. Checking my shadow on the way. Still going. I wonder if we get tires on patrol. Hey, I wonder if we get too far and the uh, airbag explodes. <laughs> it does have one of those your sensor things. Still going. I reckon that's more than patrol. Oh, we're off the ground. All right, come down a bit. About a centimetre. All right, there. That's our maximum flex. It's actually... So it is tucking inside the guard quite heavily, but... I think um, 
the, the distance there, that's going to be the limitation. So it's actually not going to matter what offset we do. Because say if that comes out dead straight, yeah, we hit the flare, but that would, it can't tuck up anymore anyway. So it's just finding the maximum tire, which is say, that'd be uh, two inches. So I reckon we could go, that's a 30 inch tire. I reckon we could almost pull off a 34 inch tire. I think we should try it. Oh. 35 with uh, better stops. Well, I've got a 34 in stock. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll try it as just a test dummy fit, I reckon, and, and do it again. All right. How's a flex day like? I'm going to get a plate measure out. I reckon that's more than patrol. Still going. I think it's back wheel here. I'm getting close. Still going. Don't roll my car. Keep going. Oh, I think that's about it. It's not bad actually. <laughs> for our first run. Have a look what the tuck doing uh, on the left hand rear. Alright. Oh. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, we're in there. Oh, yeah, if that. <laughs> if that was a bigger tyre, it'd be sitting on the inner guard. Yeah, and the flare for sure. Yeah. I can fit my hand in there. Yeah, and that's about. Yeah, that's about it. 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 Yeah, Oh, gee, that's interesting. I think we could do it, but it, we couldn't go off-road with it. I think uh, we need to get a lift if we're going to go. Like, we could do a 34, but to go forward driving, we need a lift. Absolutely. It's going to look good on the road. Yeah, it's going to be a go-kart until we do the lift. You can't get up your driveway. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, we've done a rim and tire swap. So you, I couldn't find the 34, so we've got um, 33. So they're 285 on a plus 40 inch rim, because that's what I had. But it's good, because we can try a few different ones and see how it comes up. So um, as far as looking down the line here, they're all sucked in. And we'll do the lift and tuck test. Steve's uh, gonna help out here. That's as far as we're going. Is that front wheel uh, off the rear? No. Back one nearly is. <laughs> I think you take the back wheel back left off the ground. Back left off the ground? No, it's not, it's close. Yeah, it's off. <laughs> Come down. Touch down. Alright, leave it there. So tuck wise, that's still like there's a hand all the way around. Happy with that. Got enough room for me to go the other side. This side looks pretty good. Alright, let's look at the front over here. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I, I think we can do the two on fives, to be honest. Alright, do you want to do the front as well? Oh, here, the car's running. Let's put on full lock and see how it goes. Yeah, we've got clearance there, that's good. Other side will go full lock the other way. Oh, Steve's lining up. Oh, no problems. Definitely could go bigger if we so chose. All right, let's uh, do the last part of the test. Excuse my shadow. So for the record, these are um, ROH Vapors. Uh, in a plus 40 offset with a Yokohama 285 uh, XAT. All right. Just uh, turning off, babe. All right. You can't the pyramid so hard. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Cheers, up there. All right, come down to Ted. All right, let's have a look. 
<laughs> Feeling a bit vulnerable over this side. All right. Oh, that's fine. Oh, over here. We've, we're getting close now. Oh, there's, there's a hand and that's it. So, yeah, going up an inch. 12-ish mil each side. That's gonna that's gonna fill that up and probably touch. But we're fine up here. Oh, I, I reckon 295 is gonna be the max. So let's do that. She looks alright, I reckon. If you wanted a nice, neat tie wheel package that sits inside the guards, look big but not too big. You don't even need to lift it. It looks really good the way it is. Of course we will. And of course we will put bigger tyres on it again. Because we need to know these things. But that looks pretty good. Alright, the way I'm thinking at the moment, um, we need to... I haven't decided on what rims I want. Um, I think I do want to stretch the offset out maybe to a you know, 20-ish or something. We'll see how we go, see what comes up. And the design and all that sort of thing. Um, but I want to put the biggest tyre that can fit on there. And... At the moment, I reckon that's a 295. So, yeah, probably the next video, um, we'll get some 295s and different rims on there and see how that goes. Um, I'm going to drive it home tonight and see what it's gearing wise it's like. Because essentially, we've gone from a 30 inch to a 33. So, it's a fair old uh, increase. All right, that's it for this one. I'm hoping you're enjoying these vids. If you do, make sure you subscribe and I'll keep them coming. Yeah, yeah.